morning, everybody. John Bond here, Cape Cod Wet Shaving. How are you? Hope everyone's doing well. So I have a quick video I'm going to do today. It's not a history video, unfortunately. I do have something set up for uh, the next shave video. I have a soap that I'm going to use that I cannot wait. But in the meantime, um, I'm a day late doing this video. I had a busier day yesterday than I anticipated. I was sent this by Andy Amaya at uh, the Wet Shaving Store. Hello, Andy. How you doing, buddy? Um, he wanted me to try it. He wanted my opinion of it. It's not really testing. It's more reviewing, I guess, although I'm kind of loath to use that term because I don't think I do great reviews. But um, yeah, I'll be reviewing it, I guess. So he wanted my input on the, the scent of it. And today I'm going to actually use it on camera. I'm not using anything else but this soap. No pre-shave, nothing. I, all I did, I just hopped out of the shower about an hour ago. So can't wait to try this stuff out. My uh, shaving implements today will only consist of the sample. And this says Strike Gold Shave Joe Malone. My uh, Merker 23C long handle, one of my favorites. And I'll be using my uh, Volfix Badger. And it just dawned on me I didn't soak it. <laughs> so I actually have a bowl of water here to cut down on water during the video. So I'm going to soak it in that real quick. Um, so while I'm doing that, let me go over this. So this is a sample of Bee's Knees. This is going to be a release uh, collaboration with uh, Frank Andy at Wet Shaving Store, Frank at Strike Gold, Strike Gold Shave, and Banaka Burnett and One Sharp Sally. Banaka and Lindsay. Uh, first female wet shaving collaboration for a soap. And it is inspired by Nectarine Blossom and Honey by Joe Malone. It's the Joe Malone on the cap there. So I, uh, the day I got it, I, well, actually the next day, I forgot to message him. Sorry about that, Andy. The day after I got it, I smelled it and it reminded me. And I guess I'm weird when it comes to describing scents. Um, the way I describe Sandalumo, like walking into a hot topic, uh, I bought Henry's sandalwood and the Henry, Henry sandalwood smelled to me like Lipton brisk tastes, kind of lemony, obviously woody little sandalwood, but way different than what I was used to. And so I told Andy that and he goes, well, I get a cologne. I might've mentioned this in a video before, but Andy was like, I kind of get a, a cologne. And I went, oh, okay. I, I'm either nuts or my brain is wired very strangely. It is in general, but I didn't know for sense as well. So, so my outlook on this was a nice, a very nice non-artificial bubble bath. As and I, I try not to sound insulting to the artisan. It's not meant to be insulting. That doesn't mean it's bad. I, I still huff Mr. Bubble. It smells the same. It's one of the few things since my childhood that hasn't changed. I love the smell of Mr. Bubble, but. Um, I like it. Sorry, I'm getting a message. Um, it's a very clean, very nice, very clean scent. Very floral, floral forward, in my opinion. Um, and he said there is floral in it. I'll get to that in a second. So let me go ahead and lather up. And I'm using a smaller brush. I'm not going to scoop. I was thinking about it, but I'll just do right out of the... Whoop. Too much water in a hurry like I said I'm a day late doing this I was supposed to do it yesterday so I'm trying to get it out there it's about 9 30 in the morning right now but uh now just face lather right out of this little tub it's gonna go on thin remember how I do I'm gonna go on thin and I'm gonna thicken it up Uh, yesterday, my kids had a half day at school. And yesterday morning, my middle son, my 12 year old, told me his throat hurt. I thought, well, that sucks, you know, but whatever. You got a middle, middle day, a half day of school. I think you can make it. Just, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it when you get home. Obviously, that's not what he wanted. He wanted to stay home. He's like, all right, dad. 
He goes to school. This year I've been picking my kids up. We usually did the bus, but this year I decided to start driving them, which I'm glad I did. It's a nice experience being with them in the morning. There we go. And uh, so I was supposed to get them at 12. They get out at 12.30. I was going to be there at 12. 11.30, the nurse calls. Said, hey, Connor's here. His throat hurts. I just took his temperature. He has a mild fever. Bleep, bleeping. <laughs> not just because I had to go get him. That's not what I mean. It's because, you know, it's still close to COVID. If there's, there, you know, they still hand you COVID testing kits if you go pick your kid up, which she did. And she automatically said he's not going to be here tomorrow because he had a fever. He had a mild fever. Not a bad one, but mild. I said, all right. So he's home with me today. This is whatever. I secretly like it. it. Makes me feel useful as a dad, you know. Your kids just want to be around you. They're at that age where they want you, you know. Doesn't last forever. There we go. So this stuff blooms nice. I always say that. And that floral actually tones down a bit, in my opinion. It's still there. It doesn't go away. It's just not overpowering. Out of the tub, it smells like it'll be floral throughout, which it is, but not overly so. Should grab the bowl. Kind of lathered in the bowl, but that's all right, whatever. I'm using that Wilkinson sword blade from the other video. It's the second use of it. Here we go. I remember Andy announcing this. Pretty sure I wrote him immediately and was like, hey, now. And his response was something along the lines of, yeah, buddy, you know it. Oh, I'm sorry, I take it back. Banaka sent me the reel that Andy made. That's what it was. That's when I first heard about it. Banaka actually sent me the reel. She DM'd me and sent me the reel. And I was just like, hey, what's all this now? Then I wrote Andy. That's what happened. So I've been excited about it, keeping an eye on this since then. I love supporting collabs, but it's really cool when it's people you know. I mean, I've spoken to Lindsay One Sharp Sally a couple times. I don't really know her. I know she's big on the community. I've talked to Banaka a couple times. I know she's big in the community. She had that post she did where there was like a definition for the word Banaka and it meant something mean. That's a funny post. Anyway, so is I and Andy, obviously, I know you pretty well, Andy. It's been a pleasure getting to know you, man. But I jump right on board for these. Try to. Mustache is back, fellas. I'm trimming around the corners of my lips here and it's starting to curl up again. And down, sorry. Here's the water. Um, so by the way, bees are the only insect that produce something eaten by man. Did you know that? I was just kidding. You didn't think I'd let this video go by without me talking about something Random, did you? So the soap is not overly thirsty. Go ahead. There we go. 
at all. It's actually quite nice. Very smooth. Shaves really well. Um, yeah, so makes sense. Bees being the only thing that are eaten by man. And you, it's one of those things you hear it and you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, you don't think about that. It's so simple, but... Because we don't have any spiderweb farms and we don't eat dung beetle nuggets. Ugh. So I thought that was pretty neat. There we go. Sweet spot. Now I'm doing this lather some justice. Um, so a bee, honeybee, can fly up to six miles away from the hive and can fly up to 15 miles an hour. Which explains like when I was a kid and I'd run from them things. They kept up with me. <laughs> it's so funny seeing my kids do that. Bee! Run for their lives. My daughter loves the bumblebees though. Anywho. So here's a cool fact. A bee ha would have to fly a total of 90,000 miles. By the way, 90,000 miles is the circumference of the earth three times. 90,000 miles to produce one pound of honey. That's craziness. Guys, this thing, this thing, this stuff is silky smooth. Very slick. Very, very slick, very cushiony. Out of frame, whoops. All right, I'm gonna do one more touch up pass. All right, uh, Queen. Queen bee lives two to three years. And at the height of her queenly duties, her egg laying capabilities, she will lay up to 2,500 eggs a day. And that's like probably the most ever studied it's it's closer to 900 to 1200 a day when i say only i wouldn't want to do that equivalent of her body weight a day in eggs in egg laying it doesn't sound like a lot but you ever seen a picture of queen or queen bee they're huge excited about this release well in reality though a bee will only produce about one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in its lifetime bloody windstorm There we go. So this scent blooms into, I see where the honey comes in now. 
because I was sniffing it out of the tub and I'm just like, I don't smell honey. For something called Bee's Knees, which is the name of the soap when it's released, it's supposed to be released later this week. Today is Tuesday. I'm assuming, uh, I think Andy had said later, the end of this week, maybe it was Thursday or Friday, I don't know. It'll be announced, to be announced within the next day or two. Um, I'm like, I don't get honey. I'm sure it's there. I just, I'm not an expert at the breaking down the scents through smelling it, but I, I honestly did. I got floral. I didn't really get honey. I got sweet, didn't get honey. But there it is. And then the nectarine. Oh, I forgot the notes. Sorry. Nectarine's kicking in. So the top notes are green notes, black currant, pedigree. Mid notes are nectarine, black locust. Locust. I don't know if you meant lotus. Probably not. I've never heard of black locust being floral. I'm assuming I've got to go look that up. And the base is peach, plum, and vetiver. Vetiver, whatever. So, very cool. Let me wash this off. I will show you post shave. Be right back. Alrighty. So, there's post shave. No irritation. Just gonna scrape myself there. Got a couple of zits and I nick myself, but considering I didn't use any other product, that's really good. Oh man. This stuff is awesome. So all in all. It is considered unisex, but I, I personally think it's pretty pretty floral. It's not bad. I, I don't mind floral. I got some rose, you know, lilac soaps and stuff. I don't mind floral at all. Just for those who are interested in it, it it's got a floral scent to it. It's really good, though. I like it a lot. The base is awesome. It shaves very well. I'm not going to use a splash or anything. I'll just let it sit the way it is. Um... Alrighty, not bad guys, uh, it's getting released later this week, keep an eye out for it, it's called Bee's Knees, there's a soap matching splash, so exclusive at Wet Shaving Store, so go check that out, thank you Andy for sending me this buddy, I appreciate it, uh, appreciate the chance to use it, I like it a lot, thanks, happy shaving everybody, talk to you soon, see you next video.